today's video, we're gonna talk about dealing with judgment. All my life, I was trapped, basically prisoner to what I thought other people's judgments of me were. And I was so worried, it's kind of like a level of social anxiety, but so worried about what people think of me, what they thought of how I dress, of how I wear my hair, my insecurities, the things that I thought other people were probably making fun of me or any idea that I had, people would think it was bad. And I just wanna let you guys know, there is a way out. Accepting judgment, accepting that people are going to judge always, understanding that this judgment comes from a place of unhappiness within somebody else. Hopefully, if you're a judgmental person, <laughs> by watching this video, you will understand why it's not good to be judgmental and why being a judgmental person can lead others to think negatively of you or to just have bad impressions, bad energy on others because honestly, judgmental people are not fun to be around. Even if they're doing it jokingly, it's just a very toxic thing. What has helped me a lot, obviously, is shifting my mindset from, oh my God, they're gonna judge me, what do I do? Or they're saying this about me or they're doing that to me. Instead of worrying so much about that judgment, I started just switching around my mentality and really working on strengthening my mentality so that I wouldn't even worry about what anyone else was saying about me. Being on here, people are going to criticize no matter what you do. People are going to not like something about you. People are going to think you're stupid. People are going to think you're ugly. People are going to think your content sucks. People are going to tell you all types of things. I've even gotten sexist comments from boy, from men. I would call them boys because men, real men, don't practice sexism, nor are they misogynist. Real men respect women. I don't let it bother me anymore because I understand people. I have studied people for a very long time. I understand why people judge others. So that being said, I'm going to share with you some tips and just some guidelines, I guess, that I always keep in my head. I always think of these things whenever I am faced with judgment or criticism. Now, understand that not all judgments are bad and not all criticisms are bad. I do listen to constructive criticism. I enjoy constructive criticism. I guess I am very self-aware, so I like to hear what other people's take on me is or what I'm doing or even with my videos. Of course, I make these videos for you guys, so I listen to your constructive feedback. So I'm not talking about that kind of stuff, stuff that is going to help make you better because a lot of times the people we love want to tell us things to make us better, to help us out. I'm talking about just straight up hate, judgment, people making fun of you, being rude to you. That's the kind of judgment. Just want to put that disclaimer out there. So my first tip is to take nothing personally. Think of those days where you have had it tough. You just had a bad day, somebody cut you off on the freeway, you don't feel like being nice to other people, do you? Sometimes when you're in a bad mood or you're just angry, you're rude to people. You cut people off too. You do things to other people that's not cool, that's not nice. Think of yourself in the worst possible scenario. Think about how you would treat somebody else. Let's say you watch a video, you're in a bad mood, and the person annoys you. You just feel like writing them the worst hate comment, being like, you just wasted my time, I hate you, something along those lines. And that is how you have to think about people who do the same to you. People who are mean to you, cut you off on the highway, or people who put their middle finger up at you. Odds are they don't even care, they didn't even look at you, you were just in their way, and they're having a bad day, and so they wanted to take it out on you. They don't even see what kind of car you are, they probably didn't even see your face but they wanted to take it out on you because you were just right there, right there, the right place at the right time as they were feeling bad and you got part of that anger from whatever it was that set them off, you were part of the receiving end of that. So understand that these people who say bad things or talk badly about you behind your back or to your face, whatever, understand that they are probably in a mindset like that. Most likely, more than likely, they are feeling some kind of way about their own life and some kind of way about themselves, so they want to take it out on you because you probably look all happy, lovely, and beaming, and you just look like life is just smiling upon you in every second of the day. So they are resentful and that's why they have to bring you down somehow, bring you down to their level. We all know misery loves company. So that's why people 
feel the need to be mean to others because they're not feeling so hot themselves. And think about it when you're feeling great. Think about when you're just having the best day of your life. You want everyone else to be having a great day. And people who criticize and are negative and are mean, they don't want to spread joy because they don't feel joy. They don't have joy. So they just want other people to join them in their sadness, other people to join them in their anger. They want to feel better about themselves. They want to feel like they have some kind of influence on others. What's the easiest way to influence others? Negative energy. You give them negative energy, that's so easy. People will absorb it like a sponge. They're gonna get somebody upset, make them cry, make them mad, and they're gonna be like, hey, 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 I'm not the only one feeling bad today. They're feeling bad too. And then they keep going around. That person goes around and starts spreading judgment and criticism to everyone else. And that's how we get into this huge cycle of judgment and criticism and anger. And that's why people are majority not that happy on this earth at the moment. <laughs> But of course you can change that. So just understand with all of this, what people say and do, how people act, how people treat you is not necessarily a reflection of you as much as it is of them. If you're in a great mood, doesn't matter what that person looks like, who they are, maybe they're your worst enemy, you're gonna feel great. You know, you're gonna be nice to them because you're not really getting anything out of being mean to them. What people say and do to you is a reflection of them as a person, what they're feeling, who they are inside. It's nothing to do with you. Hurt people, hurt people. Happy people want to see other people happy. That's just the bottom line. Tip number two is to stay calm. <laughs> this is one of my intentions for the month of October is to stay calm, make calm my superpower. Think of all those times people have judged you or criticized you or said something mean and you just blew up and then I just escalated the issue, made you look super, super weak. If you learn to stay calm in these situations, you beat the other people, you beat the antagonizer. You're going to rise above the hate and the negativity and the pettiness that people often have within them. Understand that many times people will criticize or judge or say mean stuff to you to elicit a response from you. Because let's say you're a happy, really chill person and people don't like that. They wanna break you somehow. They wanna test the water. So what do they do? They're like, they are scared of the potential within you. They see your potential even if you don't see it. That's why being calm from the get-go, even if you feel all this frustration has to be let out, you have to let it go. They're just wanting to get a rise up out of you. They see you're all happy. They want to see if they can bring you down to their miserable level. So don't give them what they want and stay calm. When you feel somebody try to get up a rise out of you or you feel somebody trying to pick a fight, you just got to repeat a mantra in your head. Count to 10 before you do anything or just repeat to yourself, Calm is a superpower. When you master calm, you can beat anyone else. Doesn't matter if they have a flamethrower, doesn't matter if they have any other superpowers, know that calm is your superpower to work against them. Think of all the things that you have said to somebody or in a situation that you totally regret because you didn't think it out first. You just might have insulted somebody out of anger, out of fear, you might have done something and this is why we have an issue now. So if you would have waited and not said anything and just stayed calm for about 10 seconds, you could have had a much better response. So before responding to anyone, repeat a mantra, count a few seconds, and you will shock everyone by remaining calm because it is very, very, very human to react to something right off the bat as a defense mechanism. But to remain calm is superhuman. People will be shocked, people will be surprised, people will respect you more. The person agitating you will probably not know what to do because they weren't expecting that from you and then they're just kind of kind of wither away and be like, oh, never mind, I'm not gonna mess with them and leave you alone and then you'll be the cool person. And staying calm shows a lot of mental strength, a lot of resolve. Very intelligent people will tend to analyze the situation before jumping the gun. I don't mean like book smart people, I mean intuitive people. Intuition is the highest form of intelligence and I don't mean like intuition such as clairvoyance. Intuition in a sense that you analyze a situation because you've been through it before and you apply your previous experience in that situation to a future experience. That is intuition. So yes, you need to be more intuitive. Pick your battles. If it's not your battle, don't fight it. And just stay calm. Tip number three is something that I really, really live by. <laughs> 
and whenever I get a bunch of people criticizing me or telling me what to do or telling me I didn't do this right and I have people telling me I did do this right or this and that and I have a bunch of different opinions about something I will always tell myself I can't please everyone it is impossible to please everyone and sometimes we forget that sometimes if you're a perfectionist you're gonna forget that you can't please everyone that not everyone's gonna be on board with what you do with what you decide to study with who you decide to date with where you decide to live what you do for a job what clothes you wear not everyone's gonna be on board some people are gonna be like you look awesome I love your style and other people are gonna be like she dresses like crap we can't please everyone it's impossible it's just impossible I know that we think that there are people out there that are perfect to every single person on this earth but I promise you no 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 that is impossible everyone has their own idea of perfect and beauty and knowledge and strength and this and that so we can't possibly fit all these different criteria get that out of your head just because a lot of people like it doesn't mean it's necessarily right for you or something's popular doesn't mean it's right for you either this is something that I struggled with accepting for all my life I had to learn this the hard way you guys don't know how much energy I spent trying to convince others trying to impress others and trying to prove to others that my goals and dreams and my vision was good. I spent so much time trying to tell people, yeah, I want to be an entrepreneur. Yeah, I want to work for myself. Yeah, I want to start a YouTube channel. Yeah, I want to do this. I wanted people's approval so, 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 so much. And when they gave me negative feedback or where they told me, oh, don't do this or, oh, you should, you know, go work here or do this instead. It affected me so much and I used to cry. I used to be like, why don't my friends and my family, why don't they support me? And it used to just destroy me. And for a long time, it had me, it was like my limiting belief. These people were reinforcing my limiting beliefs. I was trying to push through, push through, but I was putting so much weight and so much energy into what people were telling me about my own life that it was discouraging. It brought me down, it gave me anxiety. It it was really tough on me just emotionally and mentally and spiritually but as soon as I let go of the fact that I can please everyone and I let go of trying to convince everyone that my dreams were worthy that I was worthy enough to chase my dreams that I was worthy enough to work for myself that I was smart enough that I was capable enough that I was determined and diligent enough then that is when I was able to live my life authentically that's when I freed myself from the judgment and criticism of others I understood that everyone has their opinion I learned to trust my own intuition more so than the words of other people I decided to listen to me and to what my gut was telling me to what my heart was telling me instead of relying so much on what other people thought and other people's experience and expertise was and trying to convince others of our worthiness is such a waste of time so instead focus all that energy that you would use to try to convince others and get people's approval and get people's positive vibes use that energy instead to making your dreams and goals a reality to doing what you love to working on those projects that people told you you couldn't do use that energy to build your goals build your dreams build your dream life do your thing focus on what gives you joy and fulfillment and understand that we don't have to explain ourselves to anyone we don't have to explain our goals our dreams if they're not funding them if they're not paying your bills you don't have to explain anything to anyone you don't have to explain why you did this with your hair you don't have to explain why you're wearing this you don't have to explain why you're decorating your house like this you don't have to explain why you're dating anyone you don't have to explain yourself to anyone just put your head down and work on your goals live your life happy and everything else is just background noise life is honestly way too short for anything else my fourth point is to understand the people who judge us are just human too we tend to forget that we tend to forget that other people know more about us than we know about us the people that judge us are somehow perfect or somehow know way more than us the people that judge us are just superhuman for some reason guys the people that judge us whether anonymously whether in person or whatever it doesn't matter who it is I don't care if it's Barack Obama. I don't care who it is. They're human and they have as many, if not more, insecurities, flaws, faults, mistakes, issues as you. It's just a given. Don't ever put so much weight on somebody's words and thoughts and actions towards you that they 
hold more importance and more weight than your own. Don't ever allow someone else's opinion to hold more weight than your own opinion of yourself. Because if you feel like other people's opinions of you are weighing down on you and are making you change the way you see yourself and view yourself, and I'm talking about negative opinions because always listen to positive judgments as well. Like the saying goes, don't let praise get to your head and don't let criticism get to your heart. And if your view of yourself is not that great, focus on that. Focus on changing your own perception of yourself to a positive perception. The truth is with these people, these perfect people who judge you and act like they have never committed a sin or a fault or done anything bad, these people, you probably only see their highlights. And we assume their life is perfect because they're only posting their highlights. They're not opening up about their struggles. They're not showing when they're crying or when they get in a fight with their significant other. They're not showing the negative stuff, obviously. So we automatically assume other people's lives are perfect because we don't see their problems. And there's an, another saying that goes, if everyone threw all their problems into one pile, we'd grab our own again. We don't want other people's problems. You don't want my problems. I don't want your problems. We don't want other people's problems. It's much easier to deal with our own because a person who might seem like they have it all can have a million problems that we don't even know. So don't put so much weight on other people because other people are just human. God can judge you. The universe can judge you, but not another human. If you're one of those judgmental people who maybe spread rumors about others or talk badly about others or try to bring other people down, don't throw stones in a glass house. Not a good idea. Check your own problems and your own sins and your own mistakes before you ever judge anyone else on theirs. And finally, understand that we cannot control other people, but we can control ourselves. We need to let go of this idea that we can control what people say or do or think. Just let go. Let people work out their own issues on their own. Let people think what they want to think. Let people live their lives. We can't control how people act towards us. We can't control what people say about us. We can't control how people see us, but we can control our reaction to those things. You can fix your life up, you can fix yourself up to look a certain way and portray a certain image, but in the end, people are only gonna see you through their own eyes, through their own perception. There's no point in trying to change that or alter that or be hung up on how people are gonna see us. We can't control them. It's not our business, it's not our deal. What you need to focus on more is your reaction to people, is how you treat people, what energy you give to people. They might love it, they might hate it, that's not up to us. What's up to us is feeling good about that energy we give out to people. It's feeling good about the lives we lead. It's feeling happiness within ourselves. Feeling joy, feeling fulfillment, feeling calm within ourselves. Being comfortable with ourselves. That is what matters the most. Everything else is just secondary because our lives are way too short to be spent on the opinions of others and what other people want for us. I have made so many mistakes but at least I made them and I made that choice and I feel good about them because I learned from them. But when I listened to other people and I made mistakes because of what they wanted for me and I realized it was a mistake for me, but I went along with what they said, that's when I feel bad. That's when I was saying, Isabel, you put your life in other people's hands and that's where you mess up. When you put your life and your decisions in your life, the career goals, your goals, your dreams, when you put it in somebody else's hands, you're just handing your life over to them. Might as well just lie down in a casket right now and let this other person live your life for you. Don't ever believe that anyone else's ideas or don't think other people's opinions are going to help you in your life. Your intuition. Focus on building up your intuition so you don't have to listen to what other people say. You know it's right for you. Nobody knows you better than you know yourself. And I know there's judgments that they're true. A lot of times people make judgments about us that are true and it makes you think, oh, maybe they are right. If you don't know how to tell what's true judgment versus an opinion, start working on your intuition. Maybe you need to start paying attention more, meditating, being more open to receiving positive judgments. Hopefully that will inspire you to become self-aware and understand that you hold the power and all your worth, you decide your true worth. You decide your power. Everything is within, in here and up here. And once you stop externalizing your power, giving it to other people, you're gonna throw a beautiful thick skin. You're going to just be so comfortable with yourself. You'll wear what you wanna wear. You'll express yourself however you wanna express yourself. And you'll learn to trust yourself. Trust in who you are.
and your abilities. That is true power. So guys, I wanna hear from you guys. What are the tips that you have? What has helped you develop a thick skin? What has helped you become strong to the criticism? What has helped you keep yourself up? I wanna hear from you guys. Also, please be sure to follow the Instagram for taking back your power. That is where we are connecting as a community and I am so excited for what's to come. There's lots of great things to come, so please go follow Taking Back Your Power on Instagram so you will be updated on the course that is coming out, the Confidence Charge Up. Don't forget to subscribe to see more videos from me and also follow me on social media, my personal Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter, all is down below as well. And I will see you guys in my next video. Always remember, no matter who you are in this life, no matter what you may look like, no matter what you've been through, your true beauty, your true worth, and your true power, always come from within. I love you guys, and I will see you in my next video. Bye-bye.